But now we have for you a Fox Business exclusive. President Obama hailed the new FinReg legislation as increasing transparency. You can get inside, you can see what's going on, he says. But Fox Business have disco has discovered a provision in the law that suggests otherwise. Adam Shapiro joins us with this exclusive story. What's going on, Adam? Very simply, the SEC right now under the new financial regulatory flaw, not law, but flaw, <laughs> has exemption from Freedom of Information Act requests. It's a very broad clause which basically gives them what I would call a get-out-of-jail-free card that they no longer have to comply with the request. Now, why is this something that you yeah, and that? 310 million other Americans should uh, care about? Put your hands out, Stuart. Yes. Oh, this is the Marco Polis original uh, letter to the SEC saying Mr. Madoff was a fraud. Okay. This right here is a survey the SEC sent out in 2005 to uh, investors in Allen Stanford's industry right. in which they're asking, you think he's a Ponzi scheme. You want me to keep going? All of these documents we obtained, I got a whole pile. This has all been obtained by Fox Business through the Freedom of Information Act request. None of this would be public had the SEC not complied. Well, they did. And as a result, we learned that they knew about Stanford long before it blew up. They knew about Madoff long before it blew up. And they admit they blew it. Okay. But now the question, because of the new financial regulatory flaw, yeah. how do you find out if the SEC blew it? It's like Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine. Don't worry. Trust me. Let me just very quickly, um, I, I, I don't know if we have the quote ready, but I want to read you what the new financial regulatory flaw allows the SEC to do. First, the Commission shall not be compelled to disclose any records or information provided to the Commission under this section. And here's where it gets very legally, I'm going to read the legal jargon and then in English right. tell you what it means. Right. For purposes of Section 552 of Title V, in English 552 of Title V, that's the Freedom of Information Act. The United States Code, this subsection shall be considered a statute described in subsection B3B of such, of such section 552. In other words, you put in that first part into the Freedom of Information Act request, SEC doesn't have to comply. So, if they have messed up, so to speak... Congress. Uh, you're surprised, right? You're shocked. SEC, no, if the SEC has yes. messed up, yes. you cannot file, according to this new rule, you cannot file a Freedom of Information Act and find out what they did wrong. Bingo. You can file it and they can say, Sorry, not complying. And you remember, um, the, I think it's the Pequot uh, that would, hedge fund? Surely that would be illegal. Is, is it's that, not illegal. It's legal now. They don't have to comply. So no, no, not illegal. The previous I'm, law. Like, uh, oh, I'm feeling the yes. judge. Hold on. I'm yes. feeling yes. the judge. Yes. Yes. That's unconstitutional. <laughs> it will be overturned somewhere. Here's it, my big question with yeah? the whole thing. Why did they think they could get away with all well, this? Well, okay. It, look, that's the best question Thank anybody you. could ask. Thank you. The SEC in uh, about 2009 actually submitted their recommendations to Congress of, of things they would like clarified in the financial regulatory law, because back then it was being considered what they were going to do. Congress created, from whatever the SEC recommended, created this one little teeny itsy bitsy paragraph that has now given them this broad blanket uh, exemption. The, the Pequot hedge fund, the investigation into insider trading, there's a guy named Gary Aguirre. He's going to be on Fox Business later on. This guy was an SEC investigator. He wanted to subpoena John Mack as part of his investigation. He got fired by his superiors because he was causing trouble in 2008. He went to uh, the SEC with an FOIA to get all the documents he knew about. He won. They had to turn it over and uh, by the time he forced all of this out to the public, they came uh, against Pequot. That would not have happened. But this whole thing is so, outrageous in, a, in an era of transparency. This right, is the Obama really, administration you know, this is scary said, stuff, really, yeah, to be this honest. Is, this is Satan in a Sunday hat. Yeah. It's just oh. not pretty. All right. Well, 